Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of Dr Card Explains, your YouTube channel where we go through GCC science content quickly and easily. Today we're going to be going through limiting reactants. Now this is higher tier only stuff, so if you're doing the foundation paper, please carry on with uh, another video. I would also recommend if you have not yet looked through my playlists on the other chemical calculations, please do go through those first, as if you have no understanding on how to work out moles or how to work out uh, reacting masses in the equations, then you're not going to be able to proceed with this video until you can do that. So without further ado, thank you for everyone's support. Please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, turn on all bell notifications, grab a calculator, and let's go ahead and jump in. Okay, so some key content first of all. So in a chemical reaction involving two reactants, it is common to use uh, an excess of uh, one in order to make sure the other is fully used up. So a limiting reactant is the reactant that is used up first and controls how much product is made. So what does that mean? So let's just say, for example, you want to make uh, you know, a beef burger. So if I just crudely I'm going to draw one here. Here's my burger. So I've got my burger bun on the top and the bottom, and I've got my burger patty in the middle. Now, let's just say you have got, uh, so you've got your top of the burger there, top of your burger there, top of the burger, bottom of the burger, top of the burger, bottom of the burger, and then you've got your patties over here. So let's just say you've got three burger buns here, and you've got two burger patties. So a limiting reactant is the reactant that is used up first and controls how much of the product is made. And so hopefully we can see the maximum number of burgers that we can make in our chemical reaction here is uh, two, because obviously the burger patties are going to get used up first, therefore they're going to control how much is made. So that's a really rubbish second drawing of a burger there, but hopefully you can understand that. Because there's only two burger patties, the maximum amount of burgers that you can make uh, is two, therefore your burger buns are in excess. There's too many of this, too much of it, there's enough of it to react. The other one's the limiting reactant. Okay, so let's have a look in a chemical equation then. So 10 grams of HCl is reacted with 10 grams of NaOH, which is the limiting reactant and how much NaCl will form. So like always, you will be given the mass numbers and you'll be given the uh, equation. And I've already partly done this already for you. So as always, just write the equation up first and then write mass MR moles in your examination. Then I've got 10 grams of HCl, so I've written 10 here, 10 grams of NaOH, so I've written 10 there, and I've got my mass numbers, uh, or my MR numbers, sorry, uh, put in here already. So 10 divided by 36.5 gives me 0.27 moles. Now again, for this video, I've rounded up to two decimal places just to make this easy, but please remember to take the big number all the way through in your calculations. 10 divided by 40 gives 0.25 moles. So now we need to look at our ratio. So our ratio says that one mole of HCl reacts with one mole of NaOH. But of course we don't have one mole, we have 0.27, and 0.25. So therefore 0.27 moles should react with 0.27 moles. However, we don't have 0.27 moles, we've actually got 0.25 moles. Therefore this is the limiting reactant and this one is in excess. So sodium hydroxide NaOH is controlling how much is made, so therefore our limiting reactant is NaOH. So which is the limiting reaction? That's NaOH. We've identified it. And so therefore, now we want to find out how much NaCl will form. And so therefore, the maximum number of moles of NaCl we can form is 0.25. Then, as normal, what we're going to do, we're going to do 0.25 and we're going to times it because moles times your MR gives you mass. So we're going to times those two numbers together. So if I do it on my calculator now, 0.25 times uh, 58.5 equals, and it will give me 14 Point six grams. Hopefully we've followed that through. Another example coming up. Okay, so identify the limiting reactant and show how much magnesium chloride will form from 15 grams of magnesium and 12 grams of HCl. So again, write your equation out. Mass MR moles, 15 for your magnesium, 12 for your HCl, 24, 36.5. 15 divided by 24 gives me 0.63 moles, 
and 12 divided by 36.5 gives me 0.3 moles. Now, the ratio here is one mole of this reacts with two moles of HCl. And so now what we need to do is we need to identify which is the limiting reactant. And so what this tells me is that 0.63 needs to react, so 0.63 times 2 needs to react with 1.26 moles because that's a 1 to 2 ratio just like we've got at the top here. That's what our balanced equation tells us. Now we don't have 1.26 moles, we've got 0.33 moles, so therefore this one is going to be our limiting reactant, the HCl. Now, how much magnesium chloride will form, because we've now identified our limiting reactant, and so the ratio here is 2 to 1, so 2 moles of this goes to 1, and so now I need to divide my 0.33 by 2, so if I divide that by 2, that gives me 0.165 moles, and then my MR of magnesium chloride, if I just quickly work it out, so it's 24 plus 35.5 plus 35.5 equals 95 moles times my MR will then give me my mass. So 95 times 0.165 equals, and I get 15 point, uh, if I round it up, 7 grams. Really well done if you followed that through or if you've had a go at this yourselves and got it right. Okay, last bit then, slightly different question here. Explain why nitrogen is the limiting reactant in the reaction. So we've got equation we write down here, mass MR moles. I've got 15 grams and 24 grams here. So 15 divided by two is 7.5 and 24 divided by 14 gives me 1.7 moles. So my ratio here tells me I've got three moles of this and that works to one mole of nitrogen. And so therefore, it's probably going to be easier to go this way here. So if I've got 1.7 moles, I need to times that by 3. So if I do 1.7 times 3, that will equal 5.1. And so do I have 5.1 moles? I've got 7.5, so I've got more than enough. Therefore, this must be in excess. Therefore, this is the limiting reactant. And so all you would say is a brief sentence and say you've got 1.7 moles, you need 5.1 uh, and you've got 7.5, therefore 1.7 nitrogen is your limiting reactant. Really well done if you've identified that. Okay, so what we've done is, is we've identified the limiting reactant in a reaction and described its effects on the amount of product. Remember it controls how much is made. We've used simple equations to calculate the reacting masses with a limiting reactant and we've gone through several of those calculations for you to have a go at or for you to um, watch in your own leisure. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Please do go through my other playlists for more GCC Science content. And remember, if you ever need help with the GCC Science, Dr. Kyle explains.